is a curvy 3D tutorial covering lathes and line objects. Drag with the left mouse button in a 3D view to draw a curve and create a new lathe object. Curvy will build the object when you release the button. After you have drawn the curve, it will automatically be deselected, ready for you to add another curve to define the shape of your object. You can use as many lines as you like to make a lathe, but one, two and four lines lathes look best. A three line symmetrical lathe looks good as a four line lathe. Here are some examples of what it's possible to achieve using lathes. These shapes were created with one, two and three lines each. To create a symmetrical lathe object, first draw two curves in one view. This, these curves will stay in the middle of the object when it's symmetrical. Then draw a third line in a different view and press M for mirror to make the object symmetrical. The symmetrical object is created as if you had drawn a fourth curve opposite the third. You can create lathes using four lines that look the same as three line symmetrical lathes. But if you use M to make your ob object symmetrical, all your painting on that object will also be symmetrical. Line objects. Draw a line by dragging with the left mouse button in a 3D view to draw a curve and create a new line object. Curvy will build the object when you release the left mouse button. The first curve defines the overall shape of the line object. To set the width of the line, draw a short curve near the start of the first curve. This second curve defines the width of the line. To make cones and tendrils, you can add a third curve near the end of the first. With three curves, the first defines the shape of the line, the second sets the start width, and the third sets the end width. To change the widths, you can either redraw the end curves or scale them. Curvy line objects only use the first three curves, any more are ignored.